he hid from police using burqas and wigs. France's most wanted gangster, Redouane Faïd, is once again under extremely tight surveillance this morning. Three months after his infamous helicopter jailbreak, police have revealed some of the ways the notorious criminal evaded capture. Annelise Borges has this report. French police put out this photo to prove they had their man. Hedouan Faïd, France's most wanted and most elusive criminal, taken down inside this disheveled fifth floor apartment in his hometown outside of Paris. The challenge now, how to keep him in custody. The bank robber is a Houdini of jailbreaks. Three months ago, accomplices kidnapped a helicopter pilot forcing him to fly into a prison yard. Men in black using power tools to break Faid out. Fellow inmates cheering as the chopper whisked him away to a nearby getaway car, later found torched. French police say in his hideout, they found multiple mobile phones, wigs, and even burqas to disguise his identity. On the night of September the 29th, investigators realized that a young woman picked up in her car a person dressed in a burqa whose mannerisms led them then to believe it was actually a man. On October the 2nd, at around 10.30 p.m. yesterday evening, investigators saw an individual getting out of the car and entering the home of a young woman in Cray. Soon after that, a second person, also wearing a burqa, arrived at the same building. Operations moved fast after that and Red One, Faid, was arrested. Now he's locked up again, under what police say, is extremely tight surveillance. Well, after that report, uh, we can now go live to Annelise Borges, who is uh, in Paris live for us. Annelise, uh, French people wondering uh, now how this could have happened as, of course, this fresh investigation is launched. Absolutely, Belle. This was a massive embarrassment for French police, Redouane Faïd's case, because this is the second time he evades from prison. Uh, five years ago, he conducted yet another extraordinary escape uh, from a prison in northern France. And so this time around, police put together a massive manhunt. They deployed extremely high uh, resources to try and track this uh, man down, an operation that lasted uh, three months. Uh, yesterday, the French prosecutor gave details about just how that investigation was carried out. They said that they were monitoring mobile phones of uh, people thought to be involved in that jailbreak back in July. They uh, tracked down one young woman that lived in Cray, in Cray this neighborhood where Redouane Faïd actually grew up and then found out that she was, she had been transporting, if you will, uh, two very suspicious uh, female figures that were hiding under burqas. Uh, on Tuesday, then those uh, two uh, people that were thought to be actually uh, men were found, were seen entering her apartment. And that's when police decided to go in with 120 police officers, a massive operation that was hailed by Edouard Philippe, the prime minister, who's now acting as interior minister, as a success. So of course, that was a difficult operation conducted in a highly populated area, a very uh, busy area in the north of uh, Paris and uh, no shots were fired no one got hurt but of course a lot of people here in France are still wondering how it took police three full months to track him down when he was hiding near his family house in the neighborhood he grew up I mean this really is the the stuff of, of movies albeit a very uh, serious story underlying it authorities presumably are going to be very keen to avoid this happening again Absolutely. And uh, security officials, as well as uh, high officials, politicians here in France, are coming forward to say that this will never happen again, that Hadouane Faïd will now be kept under uh, high surveillance. But this is a man who's already said that he's uh, been, this is the vocation of his life. He's going to continue trying to escape. Uh, for now, we still don't know which prison he's going to be placed in. Uh, the justice minister yesterday said that it will be certainly a high security facility but for now we're still waiting to hear where exactly Khidwan Faid is going to go next.